It all started on Sharon's second or third night in the Big Brother house. The celebrity house guests were relaxing in the living room, having a few drinks, and just chatting when somehow the conversation turned to the British royal family. Sharon, who was British herself, made it very clear that while she respects the Queen, she is not a fan of Prince Harry and Meghan at all. She said, I think they're both turning into big celebrities now. They're doing what people like the Kardashians have done. Sharon went on to say that ever since Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior working royals and moved to California, it's like they've been grabbing any publicity they can get to try and become these big celebrities in America. She pointed out their interview with Oprah where they made all kinds of bombshell claims against the royal family. This really rubbed Sharon the wrong way because she felt they should have kept their dirty laundry private instead of publicly criticizing Harry's family. She believes they betrayed the queen and disrespected the monarchy with that bombshell interview. Sharon also thinks Harry and Meghan's near constant media appearances since moving to L.A. show that they are thirsty for fame and fortune, just like reality stars. On multiple occasions in the Big Brother house, Sharon would bring up Harry and Meghan unprompted just to rant about their latest publicity stunt or commercial deal. It was clear this was really bothering her. At one point, she looked directly into the camera and said, Harry, Meghan, just shut up already. We're all sick of hearing about you. Leave the poor royal family alone. You could tell she was firing shots directly at the couple. One thing that really pushed Sharon over the edge was when Harry and Meghan were honored with a Human Rights Award recently for their efforts with racial justice and mental health advocacy through their Archwell Foundation. Sharon flat out laughed when she heard about this, thinking it was totally ridiculous and undeserved. She said, please, all they've done is cry me, me, me about how hard their life is and complain about the royal family. What have they actually done to earn a big fancy award? I'll tell you, nothing at all. But perhaps the most scathing part of Sharon's tirade against Harry and Meghan came when she specifically targeted Meghan. Sharon made comments suggesting she doesn't think Meghan is who she portrays herself to be and that there's more to the story we don't know. Referring to Meghan's background as a former actress, Sharon said, I don't trust people who make their living as actors. They're trained liars. They know how to turn on the waterworks at the drop of a hat. How do we know anything about this girl is real? For all we know, she saw Harry as her way to become famous, and she's played him like a fiddle. Ouch! Those are some pretty vicious claims Sharon threw out there about Meghan. But she didn't stop there. She told a story to the other house guests about allegedly seeing Meghan at an event a few years ago before she met Harry when Meghan was still just starting her career. Sharon remembered thinking Meghan was too self-centered and full of herself even back then. She felt like Meghan was blatantly trying to get the attention of rich, powerful men to help boost her own status. Based on her past impression of Meghan, Sharon said it doesn't surprise her at all that Meghan would use Harry to become the most famous woman in the world. Now, I'm sure some Harry and Meghan superfans are fuming mad after hearing everything Sharon had to say. But let's be real. There are legit reasons to be critical of some of the choices Harry and Meghan have made over the past couple years. Bashing your family in a high-profile interview and then continuously pushing your celebrity brand does come across as fame-hungry to many people. And Sharon raises a fair point that as actors, how can we really trust that everything Meghan says or does is completely sincere without any agenda? Some skepticism is understandable. At the same time, though, I don't think it's totally fair for Sharon to make super personal attacks about Meghan's character or motives either without truly knowing her. All we know is what we see presented publicly. There could certainly be more layers to their stories that we aren't aware of. And let's not forget the huge racial element at play here, too. It's impossible to divorce some of the extra vitriol thrown at Meghan from some of the prejudice she has faced as a biracial woman in the royal family and public eye. Overall, this whole situation is just such a juicy, dramatic mess. And I am here for it. At the end of the day, everyone involved is entitled to their own opinions. But you have to admit it's been pretty wild seeing someone as outspoken as Sharon just unleash both barrels against those two. I have a feeling this debate over Harry and Meghan's impact on the monarchy is far from over. There's sure to be more fireworks ahead as we get closer to the release of Harry's upcoming memoir later this year too. I'll be closely watching to break it all down for you right here on my channel whenever more bombshells drop. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Be sure to leave your thoughts down below on Team Sharon 
or Team Harry and Meghan. I'll see you all in the next video.